And then one day... He just disappeared. Whoa! Married to Tina That's the first thing that came up. If Dean is this married guy, this could turn into a major situation. So I was on teen chat, just sort of browsing in the message boards. I was entering junior high, didn't have very many friends. I had problems opening up to people. He saw what I was writing in the message boards, became interested in me and privately messaged me. We started becoming more close. We started talking about our personal lives and we slowly started flirting more. I would text him during class, but the moment I was home, I was on the phone with him. And these conversations were like six, seven hours long phone calls. It was like my first romantic relationship. And then one day... He just disappeared. He was just gone. I was heartbroken. How long? was Dean missing. Almost a year. And then at that point, he called me. So out of the blue? Yeah. He's like, I know you've been worried about me, and you're probably wondering what happened. It goes into how he dropped out of high school. He was struggling with his mom, and he had to get a job to help out. And he's like, my mom is sick. I've been dealing with a lot of family drama, and I didn't want to get you involved. She sort of picked up where you left off. Mm -hmm. It went on for about six, seven months. And then he just pulled another disappearance. You've been through this now twice. Yeah, I was so done. But one night out of the blue, I received a phone call. And it was him very emotionally distraught about his mom passing. He was scared, just trying to figure life out. A little bit after he told me his mom had passed, he sent me a friend request on Facebook. And it said, hey, April, it's Dean. I'm sending you a request because I wasn't paying his bill, so they shut off his phone. The only way we can talk is Facebook. I was like, you know what? I'm going to talk to him, and I'm going to give this a chance. I still care about him. It sort of went back to where it was. So you can't stop talking to this guy? I can't. He was like the first person I really cared about. He's Here we go. Whoa. Eyebrow pierce. He's got the gauged earrings. OK. <laughs> He's a punk. Other than that, all I know is about like his one friend that he talks that he lives with. Who? Oh. His name is Dakota. Do you suspect that he might not be the guy in the pictures? Um, sometimes, yes, but when people really care and connect with someone, they kind of do stupid things. They kind of give them a ridiculous amount of chances. After we left yesterday, we looked into everything. Mm -hmm. There were a couple people that jumped out. And so we sent out a handful of messages. And the first person to get back to us was this girl, Zoe. OK. And this was weird, because she said, oh, we met on teen chat like six years ago. OK. And we were talking. Things were kind of going well, but then he just disappeared. So he did like the same thing to her. He always says, oh, I'm single. You're the only person I'm talking to right now. So that's kind of a dick move. <laughs> we kept searching. The next thing we did was we ran his phone number. OK. And on the first site, we got a match for someone named Tina. Have you heard that name before? I don't recognize it. OK. So we then searched the number on Facebook. It brought us to this profile. To what I'm assuming is Tina's husband? Yes. Right. John. We went through his photos. OK. And when we got to this one. Coda by the fire. Coda is an abbreviation Dakotas. for Dakota. That's one hell of a coincidence. That's what we thought. Is his roommate his son, and he's just lying? Is he married? With kid or kids, this and morning, then... we got a message back from B, one of the girls who commented on uh -huh. his recent photos. And she wrote back, if you're trying to get a hold of Dean, you can call him and a number. But that number's different. We took this new number and we searched it on Facebook. We got a hit. You did. And yep. this was it. Dakota. That's weird. Why would he have it? Well, maybe. Mm -hmm. Dean really doesn't have a number, but he uses his roommate's number. So when maybe, he wants to talk to people. Or maybe there is no Dean and there's only a Dakota. There's no point in avoiding it. We should just take him on directly. OK. Let's just send him a message from us. Hey, Dean, I think you guys have been talking for a long time. April would really love to meet you. She has a lot of questions. Right. Please get back to me. Thanks. We got a text from Dakota's phone number. It says, hey, it's Dean. I heard you guys are looking for me. I'd like to meet her and talk about a few things. I will be at Dakota's all weekend. Just drop by. 
And then there's an address. You must be Dakota. Yeah. Hey, Neve. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's this guy. Well, it's Dakota. We, uh, we were talking to Dean. Mm -hmm. He said to stop by here, he'd be here. So, is he here? No, he actually just took off. Who is that Dakota guy? What is he, is he changing his voice on the phone? Could be doing a voice. So let's see, is he on? He's not active on Messenger right now. He's like not even responding at all. I mean, if he happened to have been out yesterday when we stopped by, you'd think he would have immediately, upon finding out that we were there, reached out. It's just not cool. Should we try calling Dakota? Yeah. Well, what yeah. other options? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's our point of contact at this point. Hello? Yeah, hi, good morning, Dakota. We were wondering if you had a chance to talk to Dean since, since yesterday. Yeah, I actually just got into contact with him not too long ago. He should be by the place like all day today. I'm not sure what to say. This is April, as you know, hi. I presume. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> You're you, which is a surprise for us. Yeah. Why didn't you meet up with us yesterday? What yeah. I mean, honestly, it was just nerves, man. Um, I just overthought myself into a position where I wasn't comfortable, and uh, I didn't know if she would like me or not. You know? And I mean, you're just crashing intermittently yeah. with Dakota? You don't have a place to stay? Um, I'm getting things together, getting, you know, that aspect of my life under control, but uh, for, the, for the time being, this is where I'm at. What about some of the other girls you've been talking to? Um, I mean, those are all just friends. Uh, I'm not looking for anything right now. But, but we've talked to Zoe, and it seems like you, you know, you, you've made a couple friends online. The whole so. thing with Zoe is I, I never really moved past a point of platonic interest with her in the first place. You know, she has kids, stuff like that, and I'm not looking to involve that in the situation that I'm currently in. Why has she been so uncertain about, like, what's going on with you guys, and why do you disappear and come back? I mean, some of the reasons why I would push myself away was because my mother wasn't taking the best care of herself that she could have been. And when I was 14 years old, my father split. And it's recently that I've begun talking to him again and, you know, reconnecting. Because it's like, you know, even though my mom's dead, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't want me and him, you know, at each other's throats to our graves. So that's why I pushed myself away to protect myself, so to speak, emotionally. Because, you know, with everything that I've got on my plate, I'm trying to finish that first before I bring somebody else in. Disappearing really isn't the answer, though. Like, going silent. It would have been better to have an explanation prior than just going poof. True. Do you have feelings for her? I do. But it has to be equal. I don't want to be the only one that gives 100%. It has to be equal. It has to be both ways. If there is anything at all. You want to move past everything that has been in the past and not exactly start completely fresh but at least go into this knowing that both of us are going to give it our all no matter what. I'd be willing to go into this knowing that and we've had our issues, we're moving past it, and we're trying to better each other, not just ourselves. This needs to become more of a mature relationship. We're not exactly sure where we're at as for, you know, the relationship or friendship aspect, but we are for sure that we want each other, you know, to be a part of our lives. No matter what, we're always going to be there for each other. I'm kind of in a relationship. You are? Whoa! Well, that's great. So you got a boyfriend. Yeah. Hey. That's amazing. What about Dean? Um, yeah. we're still close friends. We still talk and gossip to each other a lot. What's up, man? How you doing? Doing pretty good in my life together and, uh, you know, just trying to move forward. What about April? How, how are things with her? I've been trying to talk to her. Um, sometimes we both get caught up in our own lives, you know, still we get busy. It's understandable that we can't talk every day. We but... heard she has a, a boyfriend now. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Eh, I mean, I, I want the best for her. I want her to be happy. I'm not the jealous type or anything like that. I know that me and her will always retain that friendship no matter what. And I want her to live her life. I want to see her do good for herself.